I love this story so much because you being in grad school, you're almost at like the tail end of your academic journey um, in this way where you've already come all this way to even be able to study for a PhD. So first of all, congrats to you for getting there as far as what you thought your career was going to be. But I love that you that you like took this this chance on yourself and just said, you know what, no, like I can do this thing, especially because you had proof of concept already doing it. So how did, how are you able to communicate this to like your loved ones, if that was like something that mattered at all? And then I want to know what were some of the steps you, you took to maybe shift yourself into this full-time career as a producer, where you weren't able to allocate the time before? Um, right. Okay. So my loved ones were not crazy about it. I can't, my brother my immediate younger brother was actually pretty happy for me. He was like the only person, but my parents naturally were scared, like naturally. Um, my girlfriend's parents were scared. My girlfriend was scared. Um, like everybody was like worried. Cause it's like a, it's a risky thing. And like, from their perspective, that's kind of like a wild thing to say, like, and you, you gave the context excellently, like going all this way with school just to say, oh, I'm just going to like make music on my laptop. Now that's like, kind of wild to hear from their perspective so i get it but yeah they weren't crazy about it it definitely took like demonstrating to them that it's actually like a viable source of like sustenance and then they kind of saw like okay like he's not crazy it's actually just like it's work but it's not traditional work um so you already had the literal receipts to prove it so, <laughs> so there you go exactly thanksgiving was fun that year um for oh, sure that's when you announced it yeah. No, that's demonic. How could you do that? <laughs> Not over the turkey. <laughs> okay, so then from there, how did you shift into reallocating your time and, and making sure that you could commit to this full time? Mm, it took learning that I had to discipline myself because there were a few days, especially right at the start, where like most of the time was spent like on my PlayStation when it should have been spent in a book reading about business or, you know, on YouTube studying beats or making beats actually. Um, so it took just seeing that like my income could still decline even though I was fo I was focusing all that time on making beats. I actually had to get up and treat it like a business. And then from there, just like studying the correct material of like learning how to allocate that time. So I would say I just, I put 40% of my time towards making music, 40% of my time towards studying how to like market that ability and then like 20 percent of the time doing like whatever else comes to my heart and that's kind of like a a very basic breakdown of it no and i think that's a perfect like way to schedule yourself especially um for those who are looking to make the same decision or are considering it i think having this understanding that you literally cannot be in front of your computer all day solely making music. There's a lot of other elements that go into it. So congratulations. I'm really happy for you that you were able to make that that move and that, you know, everyone around you came around to the idea, but you took that bet and like you, made, you placed the bet on yourself, sorry, I should say, which is absolutely insane. So, okay, I guess my next question then is for the person who may be in the same position you were in where they're like, nah, this is not it. Like, I do not want to do this. What advice do you have for them in making that, that step? Um, one of the most valuable things that you can learn in life from what I've heard from like people older than me and from what I've learned so far, I'm not like that old, but I've seen like a little bit is that you, like you have to really learn to trust that gut feeling like it's actually a really really important like thing about life is like learning that that like gut feeling is usually right in terms of like what you should be doing that's good for you so if like your gut is really really telling you that like bro this thing that i'm doing is really a waste of time for me and like this other thing that i really want to do is my passion then like there's a really 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 good chance that it will work out in your benefit if you just follow whatever that feeling is telling you to do. So if it's telling you to stay in school or stay at your job or find a balance or quit everything and be a hermit to like draw pictures or make beats, like whatever that feeling is telling you to do, like 
I would just say go with that, like 100%. Okay. 